leave it to a Japanese game show to transform a wall into an instrument of anxiety. So let's discuss the ways in which the humble wall alters our perception of reality. <laughs> We tend to think of walls as concrete manifestations of our desire to organize the physical world around us. Without them, there'd be total transparency in nearly everything we do, including our special bathroom time. We need these barricades as a fortress against the real and imagined hardships of life, affording us just a tiny pocket in the universe to retreat to and conduct our lives in privacy. But what happens when a wall becomes something else, maybe even a symbol of political will or military might? Well, in one case, you create a 2,800-mile monument to warring factions, a grand illusion of security. The Great Wall of China is a discontinuous series of walls built by different people at different times. In some places it was left to crumble, in others it was rebuilt, and at times it was extended all over a 2,000 year period. It was used as a defense against nomadic tribes as well as demons of folklore that came to dominate ideas about so-called barbarians and foreigners. And this sort of physical division between nationalities, cultures, or even internal civic strife can be seen elsewhere in history. Stone curtains continue to be drawn around the world. Since 2006 the U.S. has erected 600 miles of fence along its Mexican border, and Israel is building a 400-mile West Bank barrier, plus another 165-mile fence along its Egyptian border. But you don't need brick-and-mortar walls to create a divide. You just need a map outlining territories and what turns out to be an abstraction of power and political will. And the idea of walls becomes even more pervasive and innocuous when you consider the various ways in which we come up against blockades of information. Firewalls, censorship, and hierarchical levels of information. You could even say that building metaphorical and concrete walls is intrinsic to us, perhaps perhaps even baked into the fabric of the universe. In 2003, the Sloan Digital Sky Survey discovered filaments known to span vast distances between galaxy clusters forming a lattice-like structure, creating a kind of cosmic web great wall. According to Louise Edwards, a postdoctoral researcher at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, these filaments are integral to the evolution of galaxy clusters, among the biggest gravitationally bound objects in the universe, as well as the creation of new generations of stars. So ponder that the next time you use the bathroom and reach for your face favorite book of maps. So does that give you a completely different read on Humpty Dumpty? Was he a political pawn or an aggressor? Let us know in the comments below and to keep the videos coming make sure to subscribe.